Hey guys, there we have it. PB's Punishers with the victory over Pinoy Warzone 15, who are the feeder clan for Pinoy Warzone 14. So an 82 to 73 win. Um, so we had a 30 v 30 war, which is one of the biggest wars we've actually had um, in the Punishers in recent times anyway, or since I started. So um, I wanted to start off with a very quick shot of this. Um, it's only fair, I've shown other people's fails, so why not kick off with one of my own? Um, I knew that there was a Tesla farm down the bottom, and I thought I could still come in with a stoned hobo um, if I could draw that queen and king um, out and take them out with my kill, with my funneling troops um, before pushing that kill squad through. The plan was then to get a freeze down on whatever inferno was not targeted by my kill squad um, unfortunately there was a lot of damage going on and as you can see wall breakers failed um, at this point so much damage coming in on that queen pop the ability um, and just taking that time to hammer through the wall means that queen started to get herself well and truly wrecked and here she goes and she is gone and there goes the rest of my air targeting troops. So, not a great start. Um, then the king is bashed through that wall, and my bowlers walk to the side, which seems like a bad thing, um, but at this point, they would have got completely wrecked by the balloons anyway. Um, at this point, because I forgot to bring a freeze in, I basically rage drop my hogs, throw a rage in them, uh, on them, in this quadrant here, um, whilst getting sprung and giant bombed and wrecked by the infernos. So there you have it. That's what happens when a player fails to adjust um, and basically comes in with just a completely wrong attack anyway. This guy. Awesome. So <laughs> luckily for me, uh, the rest of the guys really managed to clean up, clean up here. So as you can see, um, they really struggled. Uh, Pinoy Warzone struggled on our top bases. Um, on me, it was a two star, 59%. On Bones, two star, 58%. On Ken, two star, 59%. And uh, the crowning jewel is on Sager, and it's a 7% one star, which was, I think, somewhere around the 200 archers flooded in on the town hall. Now what I wanted to show was this Fire Manny, Town Hall 9, coming in on number 9. So let's go in with the replay and, oh what, it's a 10, sort of. There were no Infernos. Um, but, as you can see, this base, I mean, yeah, there's those runways, um, perfect for tanking. So you're going to see um, it is a, a stoned hobo of sorts, a very different run of the stoned hobo. Um, two um, of our golems start to come in and tank on this initial side. Queen coming in with the bowlers, and their job is to funnel down this entire uh, left-hand side of the base. So they start to work their way through, tanking's going down, and they are getting a lot of damage done. So we've got the poison coming down for the CC, the double poison. Uh, Queen is going to come in and step up to take that out, while the bowlers continue to walk down, being tanked for by that golem. So one of the expos is down, Queen's going to continue uh, moseying her way down there, double giant bomb triggered by the golemites. So... Um, Pretty good there, um, that could have wrecked some hogs later on down the track. So now we have a king and a golem come down this side. We're going to focus on this here. Uh, king is going to step up to the queen, uh, just wreck her face uh, with a big old sword swing and a punch uh, by the iron fist. So then the hogs are going to flood in from this side and just work their way along. You can see three heels uh, brought to the party. First heel's gone down uh, around that splash damage, uh, expecting that there would be a giant bomb. Second heel uh, overlapping there, just keeping everything alive as it moves along. And then the third heel, uh, we're gonna see coming in momentarily while those hogs move down. So he's just followed them along, um, even led them a little with the spells, 
um, and at this point everything is looking pretty wrecked so the cleanup's going to come down those hogs will finish up and we'll two times this through so cleanup coming through and we'll go four times and there it is um, the 9v somewhat of a 10 we'll say 9.5 um, triple just stepping up seeing the base and um, identifying it really well with what could be done so fire manny just coming in hot on this war it was fantastic and the last replay we're going to do today i swear we're not a mirror clan um, despite the fact that down here you are going to see um, a few spots where you know perhaps diesel um, maybe 20 uh, number 20 versus number 20 you know number 17 versus number 17 but what I want to show you is um, what is probably a little more of um, an almost legitimate Town Hall 8 versus Town Hall 9. Um, we have Diesel taking on, not even going to try, this guy. Um, you see two Expos in the middle there. Um, CC was lurable. Um, and that was the defining um, pick for me that I thought a Town Hall 8 could do it. CC was lurable, so um, I wanted to draw that up to the top corner. So I'm going to see an archer come down, two poisons, uh, just to pick up um, that CC. And we're going to see four archers and two wizards um, to take out this CC with the double poison. There's a second, third, and the fourth archer. And then you're going to see one wizard to the left, one more up the top. And that CC is nuked. So very quickly we're going to come down so i wanted to enter from this side to take out the enemy king um, as efficiently as possible so that he didn't wreck my hogs and luckily for me there were also two skelly traps down there um, so to deal with them early is fantastic um, as far as keeping your hogs alive go so you see i triggered a double giant bomb there which again um, just incredibly fortunate for me um, they could have done some real damage. Wall breakers are going to come in now that the king is down um, and that splash damage is targeted. And now that funnel is established, down come the bowlers. And they wanted to move a little bit and redirect. Perfect. So we can see a rage come down uh, on the kill squad now as they start to move their way around counterclockwise. And they're going to wreck this entire corner here. Um, before moving on and there's another giant bomb gone so we're gonna have a couple of hogs come in up the top um, just to take out that top corner while everything's a little distracted um, just to take out some of that dps um, and the tanking of that golem is still going and then you're going to see the hogs start to flood in from this right hand side um, as the kill squad redirects to the middle the king is tanking um, the hogs are going to come in and start to do some damage through that core and you're going to see the heels are going to be dropped in the core uh, just to keep them up through a lot of damage which is going on uh, and there's another hogs come in to that wizard tower there and start to trickle a few more in that tail end so everything's pretty happy through the core here um, hogs are alive doing well another heel's going to come down here and at this point it's time for the cleanup so we're running pretty tight on time, but you're going to see uh, the minions get dropped um, right along that 12 o'clock to 9 o'clock side, um, just to help keep that going. And there's the last defense, so we're going to speed that up. So awesome work, uh, if I do say so myself, uh, by Diesel uh, coming in and hitting this base, um, just recognizing a lurable CC, um, accessible king, and just being able to stick to the plan, um, unlike Vision. So we'll go back out to this war map. So the guys did an amazing job setting up that groundwork. Um, as you can see, triples all the way up the board through until the top eight, uh, which is where we missed our stars. So um, unfortunate we couldn't pick up a lot of triples up the top there. Um, but with those, uh, with that clear board um, down south. Yeah, it set us up for a fantastic win. So um, hopefully you found that um, bit of fun to watch. Uh, it was only fair that Vision had um, a fail shown, aka me, had a fail shown. Um, but luckily, all the boys really stepped up and did an amazing job um, in our first 30v30 uh, in a while. 
um, and came away with the win. So um, we've still got that video on war planning in the pipelines. Um, hopefully that will be there soon. Um, until then, keep clashing, keep having fun, and uh, I'll see you next time.